Welcome to eLending in Libraries. What does it mean for libraries and its users? In a fast-paced, changing world, libraries need to be on top of new trends. Our society continues to evolve its digital content from either accessing mail online to downloading books from libraries. The world has become viral. To match this demand for e-content, libraries must look at how they can service their patrons that would rather use the library from the comforts of their own home than actually go in to the library. Libraries have embraced this trend by offering e-books, downloadable music, e-magazines, and streaming video that all can be done at home. So how has this affected users and the library? Money has been allocated for e-lending from other parts of the library's budget. Some libraries even purchase e-readers that are preloaded with e-books for their patrons. To keep staff knowledgeable on e-lending, staff training had to be implemented. Programs were designed to teach patrons about borrowing e-books from the library. E-lending has changed how libraries provide services to their patrons. So how come patrons do not know that their libraries offer these kind of services? According to the Pew Internet's research, libraries, patrons, and ebooks, 62% of the people that were surveyed in 2012 did not know that their library offered ebooks. Those that did read ebooks, only 12% borrowed ebooks from their library. According to the article, e-reading rises as device ownership jumps. Half Americans own devices that could be used to read ebooks by the end of 2013. However, only 28% of adults read ebooks. Ebooks are gaining steam in libraries across the United States, however. Now, libraries are offering a wide range of e-content to their patrons. Previous research projects have looked at why patrons are not using these services, but little has been done on the impact of libraries themselves. Some have looked at the budget libraries have given towards ebooks, but a, what about programs and other services related to e-lending? By surveying patrons that borrow ebooks and other e-content from the library, this study intends to provide insights into the value of ebook collections to users and non-users alike. Our research question was what factors influence ebook readers to continue using their public library's ebook collection? In this study, we surveyed current library patrons who borrow ebooks and other electronic materials from the library. The library we chose was a mid sized library in southern Indiana that provides ebooks, e magazines, and downloadable music to their patrons. Surveys were conducted on their e lending from the library. Also, random patrons were asked questions in interviews to describe their experience using the library's e-lending materials. Their surveys included close-ended questions measured on a Likert scale. The survey gave us an understanding of how often patrons borrow electronic materials, what types of electronic materials they borrow, and if they get electronic materials from other sources. The interview questions were open-ended, measured by similar themes throughout. These interviews explored the patron's experience borrowing electronic materials from their library. There are few studies on e-lending in public libraries. This study connects the e-book reader with their library. It explores why patrons are borrowing e-books and how it has affected their regular checkout behaviors. Since previous studies were conducted a few years ago, the study also looked at the improvements in downloading ebooks and how that it has it affected the patrons.